Hey guys, come here. Good boy, Obi. Hi everybody, I'm back again. Jason Barron with Common Bear Enterprises. This is um, the video that we're going to start promoting. Uh, we'll leave it up for about two weeks at a time and it'll be focused on uh, essentially be focused on nutritional stuff. We're trying to structure it so that our videos come in three parts now. There's a weekly status update on the kennel. There is one that's done just below it that's going to be on dog care, uh, things like wrist wrapping, paws, uh, pads, and conditioning, things of that nature. And then this one, which is going to be about nutrition. And we'll leave them up for about two weeks at a time. They won't be weekly. They'll be more like bi-weekly. Uh, give everybody a chance to see them. And then this one here, we're going to focus on dry food. We're sponsored by the Blackwood Corporation. It's a small company, very grassroots. It's located in Columbia, South Carolina. Jeff and Shannon Buck are the owners and operators of it. And I mean, it's not some big corporate thing. I mean, this is a company that's run with, uh, they have a feed store essentially in the office in the back and that's uh, that's Blackwood. They make great quality food. The one that we feed the most, we, 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 fo we feed the puppy food, Blackwood puppy to all of our young dogs. And then pretty much once they get to the point where they're old enough to train, everybody goes on Blackwood 7000. We supplement with some meats and some, and some fats and stuff later in the year. But typically year round, our dogs are eating Blackwood 7000. This is it right here. And it's a 35, it's a 34% protein, 25% fat. Here's a little look at what the kibble looks like. You can zoom in on that, I don't know. Small kibbles, they sink right to the bottom of the water, which I happen to like. So if I put it in water, I can kind of dip out water or dry food. I like this half quart dipper we get from John Cooper at Kitmick Products up in Anchorage. Um, I love the ergonomics. I can stand right here and deliver this to a dog, you know, quite a ways away and it holds half a quart. Now I tell you what, you can tell yourself, you know, you, it, it's the easiest thing in the world to do is overfeed a dog. They're eating really well, especially this time of year, throw some more food at it and you can get them overeating really quick and then a month from now go, my dogs aren't eating. I, I like to keep them eating just like they are right now, which is ravenous. Part of it is gonna be a quality dry food. They love this Blackwood 7000. I feed it dry, soaked, or with water. Just just depends what my inclination is. But I never feed. I, I feed a half quart dipper to my largest males, maybe overflowing a bit like that. That's the maximum amount. Um, and then when I race, I get I also get these uh, aluminum pans from um, John Cooper up at Kitmick Product up in Anchorage. Just a light aluminum nothing to it and basically basically that's these these things are always in my um, in my my sled bag now just a quick word before I leave you on um, one of the things that people have been asking about this one of the things I like to do when I'm racing is I'll pull into not necessarily the first day I run them kind of lean in the first day of any race but once the first day is kind of all said and done and I'm kind of settling into the race like the bear grease and we're well underway or they did a ride one of the first things I do is I park the team coming into a checkpoint I'll park the team I anchor off the back of the sled I'll anchor off the front of the the front of the team so they can't move around then what I do is I go in there and I usually have brought um, most races that's man mandatory even if it's not I carried anyway it's mandatory to have some extra food that you don't use like 8 to 12 pounds well in my case I'm almost always turn make sure that's a dry food the Blackwood 7000 so when I pull into a checkpoint I've already had that bag kind of out there where I can get to it and I slid it open as soon as I've got the team anchored off before I take off booties or bed them down I go along and dole this out in front of them and empty out this 8 to 12 pounds of food or whatever it is I happen to be carrying and so that they can be no, uh, nosing around and eating that while I'm taking their booties off and getting the, the straw in. Then, uh, essentially, right away, I've got the cooker going, and if I've got water at the checkpoint, that's great. If I'm going from snow, I just, you know, I'm as efficient as possible. I get in there, I'm making water, so that what I've gotten is, is I can address healthcare issues, like, you know, looking for harness rub, working on owies, things of that nature. And I've got, I got my hot water, and essentially, I can come in with a soup, a meaty broth, around the 45 to 60 minute mark. So I've got all my healthcare done. They've already got a bunch of dry food into them then they're thirsty at this point. They've uh, they've laid there and now they're like, oh boy, I'm thirsty. So they're gonna hit that water, they're gonna hit that meat, and then as they drink the water and get into the meat and delivered in these pans, then I come along and I'll just scoop I'll just scoop the dry food out like this out of an additional bag and give them more as needed. I'll just dump that right on top of the right on top of whatever meat's kind of left. And then to sort of top it off, I'll come along and I'll clean out the uh, I'll clean out the pans by little frozen bits of it just sort of dropping on the straw in front of them. That's the initial feeding and then I come in with my snacks and frozen things as as you know as necessary. Okay guys that's all I've got for now. Remember not all good ideas have to be your own. Thanks a lot.